Miss Margaret, I'm going to tell you about the Kevin Faced West. All right. The main character is a girl named Anne Hamilton. She lives out in West in a cabin. Duh. <laughs> yes. Did she always live in a cabin? Nope. She used to live in Gettysburg in the, west, in the western frontier of Pennsylvania. Okay. And was she happy to move west? No. Oh, what about the rest of her family? Were they happy? I think so. think so? Yeah. Well, her dad and brothers were, for yeah. sure. Okay. Why didn't Anne like the west? Well, because there were no girls near ten. Everybody was usually just boys or babies. Yeah, she was lonely. Yeah, wasn't babies, she? boys, babies. Did Anne work hard? Yes. Yeah, what did she do that shows she, that she worked hard? She, plant, she planted a garden. Mm -hmm. She was very diligent about taking care of it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What does the book tell us about the kind of a person Anne was? She was very brave. She was brave. How do how could we tell that? What happened? Well, there was this huge hurricane storm. Mm -hmm. And she's like, I'm going to go out in the big spray and save my peas. Yep, she went out and saved her pea patch. Yeah. Right in the middle of the storm. Mm -hmm. Okay. What else does the book tell us about her? What things did she do that told us about what kind of person she Andy was? Andy offered her to go out um, back to Gettysburg to see her aunt. And then she's like, well, uh, okay, I'll see if it's okay with my parents. Then after she saves the peas, I was like, oh, what would I do without you, dear brave girl? She's like, I don't want to go. I want to stay with my help mm -hmm. and help my mom. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And what else? How did, what about other people in the story? How did she interact with them? She had two very yeah. special guests. Mm-hmm. First, there was Mr. Arthur Scott mm -hmm. that came to have dinner with her. Yep. Dinner as in lunch. Yes. <laughs> yes. And who was her very special guest at the end of the book? George Washington. George Washington. And what did he do? He had supper with her. He had supper with her and the whole family. And by the end of the book... Was Anne still grumpy about the West, or no. did her attitude change? Her attitude changed. Yes. What did she... Why did it change? What did she decide that she loved? Her garden. The garden. And... The people. And the people. Do you remember kind of what George Washington said at the end that he made said, her feel good? Um, Every he will have an amazing future. Mm -hmm. And that just made her feel like she would have the exciting parts of her life. Yes, and she felt it made her feel important, special. So was this story a true story? Hmm. Do you remember about in the author's note what it said? Yes, mm -hmm. sort of. Yeah. Anne Hamilton was real. Anne Hamilton was real. She was the author's mm -hmm. great-great-grandmother. Yes. And in George Washington's diary, what did he write? Maybe not the exact words, but... September 18, 1784. That's the day in his diary, and he talked about how he actually they stopped. did or took separate with the Hamiltons. With the Hamiltons, yes. So, part of this book is true. Mm -hmm. Okay. Bye-bye, Very good. <laughs>